I'm Andrew Wilson, an assistant professor at Cornell University. This is a short presentation on stochastic variational deep kernel learning, a new paper appearing at NIPS 2016. This is joint work with Zhiting Hu, Ruslan Salakudinov, and Eric Zing. Kernel methods such as Gaussian processes have been exceptionally consequential in machine learning, but they face two fundamental open questions. Kernel selection. The choice of a kernel function controls all of the generalization properties of a kernel method, but typically one defaults to the simple RBF kernel, which can only perform smoothing and discover limited structure in data. And scalability. Kernel methods typically only scale to about 10,000 points. Gaussian processes in particular have n-cubed training complexity and n-squared test time complexity for n training points. Our paper is intended to help address these open questions. We introduce flexible deep kernels that have the structural properties of deep learning architectures in combination with the non-parametric probabilistic representation of a Gaussian process. For a mini-batch of M training points, our approach requires OM computations for training and O1 computations for test prediction. We very much view scalability and flexibility as two sides of one coin. Flexible models are most valuable on big data sets, which often contain additional information to learn rich statistical representations. With increasing data size, our proposed framework continues to substantially improve in predictive performance. Specifically, we propose new deep kernels and exploit the algebraic structure of these kernels in conjunction with stochastic variational inference. We train all the parameters of these deep kernels, including all the weights of the deep neural network, jointly through the marginal likelihood of the Gaussian process. The resulting approach is highly scalable and enables classification and other non-Gaussian likelihoods, as well as multitask learning and mini-batch training, which are not normally available for Gaussian processes. This is a very general framework. The experimental results show state-of-the-art performance in terms of both scalability and accuracy. This work can be thought of as a plug-in to any given deep neural network architecture with a modest additional runtime overhead in exchange for advantages in predictive performance, interpretability, and full predictive distributions for characterizing uncertainty, which is often just as important as the point predictions. Overall, this work emphasizes that kernel methods and deep learning approaches are complementary rather than competing. We can combine the advantages of each approach. The deep architectures provide powerful inductive biases, the kernel provides an elegant non-parametric representation, and Bayesian inference helps automatically calibrate complexity. We also see that expressive kernel functions are highly valuable on large data sets, where our approach continues to substantially improve with access to additional training instances. Finally, many machine learning algorithms are implicitly learning a similarity metric across data instances. By viewing neural networks explicitly through the lens of metric learning, we gain interpretability. Code is available, and I look forward to seeing you at NIPS.